Here we go. At the National Guard's Winston Pete Wilson matches. Go, 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 go. Guardsmen from across the country test their skills in Little Rock, Arkansas to determine who puts the most accurate rounds downrange. I think it's made me a more well-rounded soldier because now I can do my soldiering skills, my level one skills, but when it comes range time, I can be one of the best shots that there is because of these competitions. It puts us on the map because competitions like this are rare in the Army, to be honest. The only one that I've went all Army last year was a completely different match than this, but it was on, I'd say, the same exact scale, this WPW versus all Army. So I think that it shows that the National Guard has just as competent shooters, if not better, than what the Army is willing to send to their national matches. It definitely brings a lot of uh, camaraderie between Air and Army. Uh, it's, it's fun to be able to shoot with all the other good competitors, learn a lot from them, take what we learn, and uh, push it back to our units. Marksmanship camaraderie is what it is. Just uh, being able to shoot with a lot of guys that uh, have the same uh, ideas about uh, shooting. Go! Go down the road! Shotgun, shotgun! The, the favorite moment across the board is when you're working with somebody else and you're training them and you can see a light bulb click. And you know that what you've said to them makes sense and then they're able to execute it. Seeing that, seeing that process take place is by far the best, the best feeling out here. For the guard, across the board, it's gonna establish confidence in those that are coming out here for the first time. It's gonna take their overall readiness and increase that. And I mean, I think it's a, it's a great morale builder beyond, beyond those two functional tasks. Now what we've done is we've taken, say, the 50% new shooters. That's two more personnel that come back. When they go back to their unit, they've got a new level of experience. They can transition that into helping other airmen qualify um, or, or progress into whatever level of marksmanship they're interested in progressing to. feeling I get, and uh, I don't know how to quite to describe it, but just being here and being part of it, it's, uh, I'm glad to be here, uh, especially for the younger guys, because I'm, hopefully I'm passing on something that I've learned in the past to those guys, and they can pass it on to their soldiers back in the States. Cautious about it. He's had a couple uh, carbide smoke, so you're basically putting the ash on your sights to dull them so that you don't get any glare. We get very limited trigger time as, as guard soldiers. Uh, this program increases our efficiency on the weapon systems, so that way the limited time we do have, it's more effective and it's more useful. So if you have trained marksmen out there helping the, the newer soldiers and, and out in the units, um, you get more bang for the buck with the limited time and resources we do have. If it wasn't for this program, I'd have been six years and out, no doubt in my mind. I'd have did six years, did my contract, and I'd have left. This program kept me in the guard. Many were recognized for their accomplishments at the Winston P. Wilson matches, but every competitor was able to connect with fellow guardsmen to bring valuable marksmanship skills back to the units within their states. For National Guard Bureau Public Affairs, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Adam Fishman.